In today's video, I'm going to be walking you through my entire senior experience workflow. So from the first initial inquiry email until the final gallery delivery and even asking for feedback and the initial album design email. So from A to Z, start to finish, I'm going to be walking you through the entire process. So let's just dive right in. My channel my name is Kelsey and I am a senior photographer here in Richmond Virginia and this is my YouTube channel where I share helpful tips and information for your senior photography business as well as a few fun life things to spice it up a little bit because it's fun to share vlogs I want to start off by saying that I have my entire senior workflow automated which means these emails send out on their own or with my approval and HoneyBook and it has saved me so much time. There is nothing worse than having to sit down and write out the exact same email over and over and over again with the same questions, same information. So why not have a template for it and put it in an automation and a workflow so that you can easily send them out giving everybody the exact same experience and they're getting all the information and details that they need. If you haven't jumped into using a CRM for your business yet, this is your moment, this is your sign. Um, I use HoneyBook for my CRM. It is how I talk to all of my clients, how I send them all of their proposals, questionnaires, information, literally all the things, and I use HoneyBook. Um, I even have a discount code for you guys. If you haven't jumped into a CRM yet, this is your sign, I just said that, but this is your sign because I have a discount code right below for you. Um, and I mean, this whole process I'm walking you through, I have it every single step automated in HoneyBook and it is a life changer. Let me just tell you that. I have a whole other video on how I talked through HoneyBook and my favorite features about it. And I even walked you guys through setting up an automation. So I will link that somewhere around or below um, for you guys to go over and check it out. Um, so in today's video, I'm just straight walking you through, talking you through the senior experience workflow. All right, step number one is you get an email, ding, 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 show it notification that somebody has filled out your contact form and it is for a senior session. So what I do, um, I don't have my show it contact form linked to my honey book because of some design aesthetics, I wanted it to be pretty. So I, what I do is when I get the inquiry form in my email from show it, I just copy and paste their email into my honey book and I start a new project for them. And from there, I set my automation to my senior workflow and I send them my initial inquiry email, which basically just introduces myself and sends them the link to the investment guide. On my investment guide, I also have a link to my senior calendar throughout the rest of the senior season or throughout the rest of the year um, as of right now. And from there, they can just choose their date. So then I'll get a notification that they chose their date. And then from there, I will send them the proposal. Um, I do also ask them which package they're interested in, and if they have any questions, they will send me a, an email or any type of response back that they send, I'll answer. Um, but having the automation just saves you some time on those general basic information emails that everybody needs. Okay, so in the proposal is their invoice and their contract. So they do both at once, that way all the business stuff is done right up front, and no more. You're done talking about business and from then you can really get to know your senior um, and get it, get her excited for her senior session um, and just talk about the fun things instead of having to be business front all the time. In my automation workflow that I have set up, as soon as they sign the contract and pay the invoice, um, one day later HoneyBook will automatically send them the link to the senior questionnaire. And this is a super important step to be sending out because you're getting started right away planning. There's no delay in, oh, like a month later, I need to figure out where, which location we're going to. So this automatically sends that straight out. That's when they're most excited is when they're booking. So filling out that questionnaire, they're gonna be super pumped, giving you all the details and all the things that you need to know 
heading into planning for their session. And also in the questionnaire email is where I have linked their senior session guide. And if you have not downloaded my freebie for my senior session guide yet, I will link it right down below, but it is my top five reasons why you need a senior session guide in your senior photography business. It is one of the most important steps um, for your client before their session to help prep them and get them excited, get them comfortable, um, and really just prepare them to have the best shoot ever. Um, so that is right down in the description box below for the link. Um, you need to download that for sure. After the questionnaire that I send out, um, that's when I start to just talk to them one-on-one -on -one, um, with just myself and no automated emails. Um, we will get down to the nitty-gritty of exactly where we're going to go um, and then answering any questions that they might have. I'll be responding to those emails. But my next automated email is my one week away email. And this I have this set in my automation to send seven days before their project date. And this goes through the key notes that I have in my senior session guide, um, just reminding them to be on time and to bring three or four outfit changes. And it gives them the exact location and time that we're meeting um, and just a few other tips to just remind them, kind of bring back those thoughts from the senior session guide. And I also do have like at the very beginning of the email in italics, um, please don't forget to read your senior session guide. This is the number one way to prep you and get you prepared for your shoot. And then the next email after that one is my tomorrow is the day email. And this is one last email just to get them super excited and it pumps them up. I use a ton of exclamation points to let them know that I'm also super excited um, and can't wait to work with them. I also do provide them with my cell phone number just in case they get lost or are running late, but you don't have to provide that to them. Um, I just like to do it in case I don't see an email from them or if they try to send me a DM, I don't always see it. And in case of an emergency, my phone number is always the best way to reach me for that kind of thing. Um, however, if you do send out your phone number and they start kind of crossing boundaries of using that number and not just for that 24 hours before or just right after their session, um, then you can always bring it back to email and you don't have to say only email me, but um, you can just kind of loop it back, answer any questions that they might be texting you about in an email form. Right after the senior session, I go home and call through the entire gallery. Within, it's either that night right after the session or the next morning, um, but I send them a sneak peek gallery ASAP after their session because that is when she's going to be the most excited and that's when she's going to be feeling all the feels from the session, super pumped, wanting to share them right away because she's probably been telling all of her friends that she was having her senior session. Um, so being able to give her some some of the most beautiful images from the whole gallery right away is always my go-to when choosing them. Um, but that way you can share on Instagram after sharing your behind the scenes videos um, because that's when people are gonna be the most interested as well. Um, so sharing those photos as soon as you can, preferably the night of, is gonna give you the most attraction on those posts um, and images and that's when she's gonna be wanting to share them as well. So what I do after I call through them is I edit typically anywhere between like 10 or 12 images um, to send to her and I do this through CloudSpot which y'all know is my favorite ever. I love CloudSpot so much um, but I will just text her the link to this be like hey girl I had so much fun with you at your shoot and I was just dying to look through the photos and send you some so here's a few sneak peeks because I just couldn't contain myself and had to send you some so I make it like almost like a treat like this is something special that she's getting are these sneak peek images she doesn't know that I do this for every single senior and she doesn't have to know that but it just kind of gives her a little like ooh, she really does love these I love these too um, so a little bonus tip there and then after once once I edit the entire gallery, I upload them to CloudSpot. And if you haven't used CloudSpot yet, now is your time. Um, CloudSpot is one of my favorite tools that I use in my entire business, um, alongside HoneyBook because that's how I keep track of everything. But CloudSpot, on the other hand, is what my clients are seeing and experiencing for me. And it is just 
so beautiful. You can lay out all of your images so beautifully. You can rearrange them if you want them um, to make the gallery look a little more editorial. Um, there are so many customizable features about it that you can do to fit your business um, and make it look the way you want it to. Um, and I just highly recommend it. And one of the best parts is, is at the end of the gallery, you can set up a little space for them to leave a review. And I typically don't send back a, um, or send them a feedback email anymore. Um, I used to do this, I would wait like five days and then send them a feedback email. But now I just have the little link in my CloudSpot gallery that they can click on and it'll take them to my Google review page where they can instantly leave a little review or a little note about their session. Um, and in the note on the gallery, I just say, I know you're so excited to see your photos and I absolutely love them. I hope that you do too. And if you do, um, I would love for you to share a little love note and here's the link below to do that. So if you can send that gallery to her as soon as possible, um, as soon as she looks at that entire gallery of her photos, she's gonna be so excited and want to leave you a little note right away. If y'all wanna hop on the CloudSpot train, which I think you should, um, I have a little link in the description box below that will give you 50% off an entire year. That is crazy, that is amazing, and you will not regret it. Um, the link is right below, and if you guys wanna see me talk a little bit more about CloudSpot, I can. Um, I'm pretty sure I did a video in the um, past about CloudSpot too, but I just adore them. I adore the people behind CloudSpot. Um, they are amazing to work with. They always answer super quickly if you have questions um, or any issues, which I've never, I've had like one, but it was my fault. Um, but they are just amazing over there at CloudSpot. Um, and like I said, 50% off your first year. That's a good deal right there. That is a great deal. Okay, so I just mentioned that I don't send out a feedback email anymore, but if you don't have CloudSpot or if your gallery delivery system um, doesn't offer the opportunity to leave like a little review link, um, then I would definitely be sending out a feedback email. And um, I mean, I used to do this and I would wait in my automation workflow. I had it set to send this email out five days after I sent their gallery. Um, so I would check off that the gallery was sent and then it would um, it was scheduled to send five days later. And in the feedback email, I linked my Google review page or I offered them the opportunity to just simply email me back with any words or feedback they wanted to give me. Um, and I also kind of prompted them and things to say. Um, I asked them to share how their experience was, um, things that they loved about working with me or um, what about their images that they really loved and that kind of thing just so they're not like had a great time She's amazing Book her this gives them a little bit more insight um, And kind of prompts them to tell you some really great things and that you can pull some really amazing quotes from To use on your website and then last but not least which isn't included in every single senior session but I do offer albums um, and between the two packages that I offer, one has an album and one doesn't. So if they book the package with the album, then I will send them the email design process email. Um, and my first email is just so excited that you loved your images. Um, let's get started on this album. And I actually have a guide that they made that I made for them um, that walks them through the whole process of how to choose images and what the album could look like, has all the different options for them. Um, and it's basically a little booklet of how they go through the design process for their album. After that, I'm pretty much just engaging with them on social media. If they share an image and tag me, I'm commenting on it, hyping them up, sharing it to my stories and reposting it. Um, and yeah, so but that's basically my entire senior experience workflow from start to finish. And obviously there are going to be emails that you can't make a template for or emails that you can't just set in automation because you, you want that um, personal feel in your emails. And most of my email templates, I do have little spaces where I go in and um, plug in um, personal information that's unique to their session. Um, so not, not all of them just schedule and send right away. I do have all of them set or most of them set to approve so that I can go in and edit where needed. But 
that's a whole other thing that we can go through um, if you want a more detailed video of how to set up that automation. So that is it for today's video. I hope that y'all enjoyed it and I hope that this is helpful for you if you're just getting started and not really sure on the process and kind of the workflow of working with a client um, and especially a senior client. So um, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also don't forget about that freebie right down below. It is my top five tips that you need to be in including into your senior session guide, which is one of the most important things to be sending to your senior before her session. Um, so that freebie is right down below, as well as the HoneyBook discount and the 50% off CloudSpot discount, which you need to grab both. You need to grab all three, and then you're set, and you can thank me later. I'm really pointing a lot today. What is this? This is new. I feel like an airplane director. Anyways, I hope that y'all enjoyed today's video, and um, if you haven't subscribed, I'm trying to get to hit 100 subscribers by the end of this month, which is just in a few days, um, so if you haven't subscribed yet, please do give this video a little thumbs up, and I will see y'all next week in another video.